Are you hosting an event or a meeting in Zoom meeting software and you're curious about how you can control who can unmute at different times during your meeting or your event? Well, I'm an event producer who has used Zoom to do everything from conferences to award shows to just your standard video meeting or webinar. And this is a best practice that I use in terms of disabling attendees' ability to unmute themselves, as well as a workaround that I do when I want to give some people the ability to mute and unmute on their own, like my speakers for events. But I don't want to necessarily extend that functionality to everyone. So I'm going to show you the two ways to do it here in Zoom Meeting. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We dive even more into some of our event planning event production topics. We've had some great episodes recently about everything from goal setting to reflecting on the year. We also hosted the first ever Better Events Conference. It was virtual and we recorded it so you can get access to that and some really great sessions all about advocating for your work as an event pro, making sure we're not overworked and underpaid, what AV vendors wish we knew as event planners, just chock full of really good content. So you can still register down below and get access to those recordings. So I already made a video about how to utilize the mute all feature in Zoom meeting. I've linked that down below and I'll drop it up here if I can as well, just so you can go and watch that. That is more if you are looking to mute everyone in the moment, you know, people are typing or anything like that. That would be, I feel like, is the backup plan to what I'm going to show you, which is how to actually set it both in your backend settings, like on zoom.com, and then to also set it meeting by meeting if you want to, or if you've started the meeting and you realize you want to do a master toggle to turn everything off. So again, I'm going to walk you through how to disable people's ability to come off mute. Again, this is super helpful if you have any larger groups. I don't really utilize this feature when I'm doing one-on-ones or small group settings, but anytime I'm doing an event in Zoom, a conference, I have a hybrid gala coming up and we are going to disable this feature just because it can get a little crazy with the background noises. So first, let's look at the back end. All right, so I am here in zoom.com, I call it, or zoom.us, because I'm doing this video from the US. Also, caveat, I use a Mac, so this is all gonna be look maybe look a little different for you if you are utilizing a PC. I'm down at settings here on the left-hand corner is how I got here. And then here you just search mute. Now, this is one, this is great. Mute all participants when they join the meeting. Now, you can see I have mine toggled off because, like I told you, I utilize my Zoom account for some one-on-one meetings and things, and I don't really want to automatically mute everybody, but this is, I feel like this is a really good use if you're someone who utilizes your account a lot for large groups. Just toggle this on. And what does it mean when you toggle it on? It turns blue. That means it'll automatically mute everybody when they join your meeting, and then what it'll do is you in the meeting, meeting by meeting, can control if they can unmute themselves. Now, you can also see, would be if you go to meetings, you click schedule meeting, here's a meeting, let's just say a test one, and then what you can do is as you scroll down to the bottom here, it'll say you can control both your video and then you can control where people can connect audio-wise. And then here's where you can control it on a meeting by meeting basis. So you can check this box, which mutes participants upon entry. Again, caveat here, it's muting them when they come in. This is not the control to say they can never unmute. It just would automatically mute people when they join. Again, I don't have it enabled for most of my meetings by default. If you had checked that first thing I showed you, it would have automatically applied that setting to all of your meetings. This is a way that you could do it meeting by meeting. You could just check that box. Again, all you have to do is hit save and it's saved. All right, so now I'm here in Zoom. Hello, you see two of me. And this is a different Zoom meeting, not the one that I just built for you. And so I'm just showing you, again, I guess my process that I would lay out is if you know you always want to mute everybody on your account, do that first thing I showed you where you do it in the master settings. If you want to do it for a specific meeting just to mute people when they come in, that's the second one I showed you where you do it on a meeting by meeting basis. My best practice as an event producer, though, is here in the meeting, once I've started it, I always get on early. So I'm here before other people get here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on, I'll close the participant list. If you click on the participant list, you'll then see these controls that pop down here where it says invite, mute all, and more. Click more. Now you will see it will 
pop up with some controls. Now, one thing it says, it'll allow participants to unmute themselves, rename, start video. So if I want to make sure that attendees cannot unmute themselves, I need to click that so that the, the little check goes away. So now if a participant joins my meeting, they can't unmute. They are not able to unmute when they come in. And I have it clicked here in my meeting settings just to mute everyone upon entry. Again, anytime you want to unclick or click. I do this all the time. This is a checklist I have before my event when I'm in a Zoom meeting or a Zoom webinar where I will make sure that I've unchecked this, especially if it's a one way where one person's presenting and everybody's watching. Now, the challenge with this is it will mute everybody unless you are a host or co-host. And so then my final pro tip for you and a workaround is if you have speakers or people who are speaking at your event, the workaround if you're going to disable everybody's ability to unmute is that you then need to make your speakers co-hosts or hosts, which is great because then they can unmute and mute themselves. The drawback here is as a co-host or host, your speakers then can control certain things from the meeting. They could end the meeting. They could stop their recording. There's all kinds of controls they can touch. Again, I haven't had a big issue with my speakers because I just tell them I'm doing it so you can mute and unmute. I do this in my tech check with them ahead of time or my prep call so they're aware I'm going to make them a co-host. Zoom meeting hasn't become sophisticated enough to let me give a speaker that kind of control but not give them all the other meeting controls. This is, again, where Zoom webinar is a great option for you if you're looking to really control what speakers can do, really control what attendees can do. It has a little bit more of a delineation between an attendee a speaker, and you as the host. Well, that's all I have for you folks. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.